Hello everyone, Kamats here. This is a quick video to show off my new studio light, which is working really well, and to show you a program that I wrote for the Arduino platform that runs the Conway's Game of Life. It's a cellular automation devised by the British mathematician John Conway in 1970. It is a simple simulation game. And you can see it's running right now. These are a bunch of different oscillators. And if you know about the game, you know what that is. If you don't know about the game, you should probably check it out. It's kind of an interesting game. So I'll just quickly show you how the program I wrote runs. If you push the button here, and this is obviously Adafruit's TFT shield, you can see here that there's a couple different menu options. Let's just do the first one here. And you can see that it just randomly generated a bunch of different squares and then you can just watch what happens okay so back in the menu again if we go to toggle speed It'll actually slow it down. This is for use on Arduino boards that are faster than this one. This is an Arduino Uno. It only has a uh, 16 megahertz processor. If I actually use this option to toggle the stats display at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that it actually runs a lot faster. Kind of see what I mean there. And then I have this option here that enables color, and this just randomly colorizes the different squares to red, green, or blue. You can see here. Just makes it kind of interesting on a actual color display to see all the different uh, random colors, but it doesn't change the way the game works. And then the last feature is this grid edit mode. So you can actually go through and put in different shapes that do different things. Like say you want to test out to see what this does. And maybe put a square next to that. All right, and then you just move outside the grid and go back. And that was actually too fast. So this is where the toggle speed comes into play and the reset to generation one grid, which is all stored in memory. So you can see that that shape that I made just turns into a square like the one next to it. The code for this game is on GitHub and I'll link it in the video description. I'll also link the parts that I use to put this together. So if you enjoyed this short video, please subscribe to see more videos like this or videos about the Odroid Go, which is probably why most of you are here. But thanks for watching, and hopefully this new light will make my videos better in the future. And no more creepy gloves. That's all for now.